things I've bought that have actually saved me money. I'm sure you've seen videos about things you shouldn't buy. You've seen videos about saving money and staying away from the shops and not buying so many things. But today, in this video, I'm talking about the things I have bought that have actually saved me money. If you want to find out, stay with me. I'll be right back. Hello, friends. Welcome back to my channel, The Bulletproof Life. My name is Ronkyo Demumi, and I'm delighted to have you here. If you are new to my channel, please press the red button on your right to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell so you can get notifications every time I share a new video. To my regulars, welcome back again. It's good to see you. As you all know, on here, I talk about money, saving money, budgeting, investing, building wealth, everything we need to do to take control of our personal finance and build a bulletproof life. I'm all about building a bulletproof life. And to do that, you need to be in charge of your money, to be in charge of your personal finance. So don't forget to like my videos, to comment and to share if you enjoy what I'm talking about. So let's get right into it. What are the things I have bought that have actually saved me money? The first thing I bought that saved me money, and I can't even show you because I'm using it right now to make this video, is a smartphone. My smartphone has saved me a whole ton of money. I use it to make my videos. I use it to create marketing products. I use it to access everything. Apart from making calls, my smartphone serves a multitude of purposes. Because of this smartphone, I've not had to buy a camera to film my videos on. Every video I've made right up to this one has been made on my smartphone. So my smartphone has saved me the cost of a camera, which is between 500 pounds right up to 1,500 for a good camera. So that's something that saved me money that I bought. The second thing I have bought that saved me money is my smartphone case. This one. So smartphones, when they break, they cost so much to repair. It's almost not worth it sometimes because the screen, the back, everything costs so much to repair. And sometimes after they've repaired the phone, it doesn't perform as well as it used to. So that's the second thing that saved me money that I've bought, a smartphone case, which allows me to use my phone with peace of mind and I don't have to bear any repair cost if anything happens because I drop it, I pick it up, I drop it and my phone doesn't smash because I've got a good quality smartphone case on it. All the products I'm going to mention in this video, I have provided links in my description. So if you like any of them or you want to try out any of them, please click on the links below because they are tested and trusted and you know I've used them and I'm coming back to say I have. The other thing I've bought that has saved me money is my water bottle. My water bottle prevents me from buying bottled water because I fill it up and take it everywhere with me. It's with me in my car, it's with me when I'm going to work, it's with me when I'm going on a walk. I take it everywhere so I don't have to spend money on bottled water. And that is a money saving thing for me, especially on hot days when you're just drinking water and drinking water. My bottle saves me that money, that cost of buying bottled water. Now, if you're somebody who is not a fan of plastic, and so you don't want to get a plastic bottle, you can get a steel bottle like this. Um, it's made of steel and keeps your water cool and it's really good, safe for the environment and all of that. You know, it's not plastic. The other thing I have bought that saved me money is fiber clothes. They look like this. And fiber clothes are a great replacement for kitchen paper towels. With paper towels, you keep buying them monthly and you use so many and it's bad for the environment and all of that. But with this kitchen fiber clothes, I don't have to buy paper towels, kitchen paper towels. I just use these ones. I wipe, I wash, I wipe, I wash. And a pack of five or a pack of three could last you months. I think a pack of three costs about two pounds. And once you have that, it just lasts and lasts and lasts. I throw them in the washing machine, I hand wash them, and they are good to go. So I've also put a link for that in the description section. Another purchase that has saved me money is a lawnmower. 
Yes, we bought a lawnmower that allows us to cut our own grass. I'm showing now a picture of my husband looking all fit, cutting grass, you know, cutting it away like whew. We don't have to bring anybody in to take care of our garden or to do the grass cutting or anything like that. Obi is in charge of that and is cutting the grass away. Saves us a ton of money. You know, it cuts the grass literally every month during the summer. And imagine how much that is saving because to, um, to get someone to cut your grass, it costs about 150 pounds. And we save that money every month simply because we bought a lawnmower. Speaking of machines... Something I've bought that saved me so much money is a sewing machine. Honestly, I think everybody should have a sewing machine. These things are lifesavers. They sell them everywhere. You can even get them during special buys from stores like Aldi. You can get them from stores like Corey's. Amazon has them and I've provided a few links below. And everybody needs to get a sewing machine. These things are lifesavers. You can repair clothes very quickly, you know, a little rip and you repair it really quickly without having to um, chuck the blouse away or the shirt away. You can turn up trousers, you can slim trousers. You know, if you've lost a little bit of weight, you slim that trouser. If you've gained a little bit of weight, you, t you take it out a little bit, you know, give yourself a bit of breathing room. And when the kids are going to school, for the people that have kids, you don't have to worry about buying permanent markers or iron-on labels. I just spend a few minutes on my sewing machine sewing on labels for the kids and they're good to go for the whole year those labels don't come off they just stay sewing machines are lifesavers and buying a sewing machine has saved my life there are so many youtube videos on how to use a sewing machine how to get started how to do little bits of sewing on your machine that can save you money so you don't have to take that rip to your laundromat um, or take it to the same stress at the laundromat and pay for somebody to pull together a little bit of rib or have to discard a shirt or a blouse that you love a lot because there's a rib and ribs happen to the best of clothes they happen to our favorite clothes you know you have that little rib in your jacket just get on your sewing machine and you pull it together boom 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 is done so a sewing machine is something that has saved me a lot of money it's helped my clothes last longer so it saved me money from buying new clothes is help me repair my clothes so I can wear them for longer. Things like school uniform labels done. And also simple things like making throw pillow covers, you know, summer dresses for myself. I've done all of these things and it saved me money. So a sewing machine is something that I have bought, I've spent money on, and it saved me money. Another thing I've bought that counts as a machine, sort of, is a standalone freezer. A standalone freezer allows you to buy food in bulk. So once you have that freezer sitting in your corner, you can afford to buy things like meat. You can afford to buy fish in bulk. You can go to markets and buy these things in bulk. We then come at a cheaper price and put them away in your standalone freezer. There's nothing I don't freeze. I've got a bag of dry beans in my freezer. I put peppers in my freezer. And then it allows you to buy frozen vegetables, which are frozen fresh. So that when you use them, you're actually getting the benefit of fresh vegetables and not a vegetable that's traveled a long time, stayed for days in the shops, and then you get it and it doesn't last long. So you can buy frozen vegetables and put them in your freezer and get to use them for a long time. You can buy things that are out of season and put them in the freezer and they last forever. Um, chopped off onions last forever in your freezer if you put them into ziploc bags they just save you so much money on groceries standalone freezers are a blessing to me i bought one and i've never looked back i love it it saved me a lot of money and it's worth looking at the thing that i've also bought that saved me money is a cloth drying rack yeah don't look at my bits and bobs on that rack a cloth drying rack has saved me a lot of money. I line dry my clothes. I air dry my clothes. I don't use a dryer. So that keeps my electricity bill down. So I wash and I hang on the dryer, be it summer, be it winter. It doesn't matter. I dry my clothes on a cloth rack. An industrial one like this is great. It's sturdy. It sits well. And it can take half a full load of a washing machine. So having two of these means that I can do a full load of the washing machine and i have enough space to dry them on again i've provided a link in my description for you to buy one because there's quite a few different ones 
This one that I've shared the link is the specific industrial one that really works. I've used these things for the last seven years. And I can tell you that this particular one that I've shared with you is really, really good. It gives you value for your money. It lasts a long time. It doesn't come apart. So cloth drying rags are a money saver for me. And the last product that I have bought that's a money saver for me that also saves me on electricity bills is the lead light bulb. So lead light bulbs keep your electricity bill down. If you're like me and you've got a light in every corner, you've got lights every like my, my makeup mirror has like 10 lights, I think. So I've got lead light bulbs. I need to have lead light bulbs. Otherwise my bill will be crazy. And I've got them everywhere in the house and it really keeps my bill down because they don't run your bill up. And the other advantage of lead light bulbs is they've got like a 10 year warranty or it's seven year warranty, something ridiculous like that. So they go on and on. I've not yet had a single lead light bulb burn out in the last three years. So I've had the same set of bulbs for three years. That's fantastic. Honestly, that's fantastic. So these things are products that I have bought that have saved me a lot of money in the last three to six years. So please share with me in the comment section the things that you have bought that have saved you money, the things that you have bought that have helped make your life easier and they've saved you money and they've added value to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you like it. Please leave me comments, connect with me. Let's get talking. Let's save money together. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Invite them to join my Bulletproof community. Let's do this together. Let's become financially savvy, financially literate, financially free together. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please, please press the red button on your right. I put up a video every Monday and you don't want to miss it when it lands. I love it when I put up a video and you guys are on it in the first few hours. It really makes me happy. Until my next video, my name is Rokio Demumi. And you have a smashing day. Bye-bye.